this and if you guys are watching this uh, video this is me HK from Sonic if I peace Welcome to my channel and welcome to my first full day of eating. So chalo, let's make some breakfast first. with some Hershey's milk booster chocolate syrup. This had 50 fewer calories, so I would suggest if you have an opportunity to save on calories, go for this one. This was this recipe was adopted from Mr. Greg Dissett. Coach Greg. It was essentially 10 egg whites, 4 pieces of normal white as bread. I use brown bread because that's what comes to our house. And then a little bit of vanilla extract, some stevia or sugar-free, whatever you want to choose. Uh, a little bit of guar gum and that, that was about it. Today is Sunday, so I'm going to have a very chill weekend and I'll catch you for lunch. It's time for lunch, Garba gang, what's up? So again, we're gonna be cooking some cauliflower rice. Like most things, I like it. Uh, so let's make a huge ass bowl of cauliflower rice. So let's get cracking. Okay, for this recipe, we're gonna be using some grated cauliflower, or you can call it Ghiatas uh, Kari Gobi. Then I'm using some carrots, some capsicum, some tomatoes, some onions, and some ginger and garlic. Again, everything is optional, everything is interchangeable except for gobi. I have not count the calories of my vegetables. This is going to be roughly around 50 60, but we'll round it off to 100. Again, because we will be using spray oil, which is going to have around 30 40 calories. Alongside that, we'll also be using some green chili sauce. This one is from Tops. Again, if you can find any locale one, definitely go for it. Vinegar, some soy sauce and a tad bit ketchup. Again, I would suggest use the no sugar Viva one, but we were out of that, so I'll be using this one for today. You'll also be using around 80 grams of cooked or boiled chicken, whatever you're comfortable with. Just ensure that's a little hot. If it's more than a little hot, the oil will burn, so that's not what we want. Now the pan is a little hot, I've added a little bit of ginger and now I'm gonna add in a clove of garlic as well. Alright, after this we'll be adding our chicken because we want to simmer in this oil a bit. Again, I would suggest to measure your food. This is around 80 grams of chicken that I'm gonna pour in. You don't need to be bang on accurate, but you need to have a rough estimate of how many, how much is 80 grams worth of chicken looking like. You're gonna stir it for a bit. Unless you're into burnt garlic, I would suggest cook it for a couple of minutes and then add in your onions. The more the onions, the better. One thing that I've learned from Sanjeev Kapoor alongside picking up chicks is to add a little salt in your onions. And then obviously we're gonna wait until the onions cook a bit. Our onions have cooked a bit and now I'm gonna add the rest of the vegetables. Again, I would leave the tomatoes for the end because I like them more. Capsicum, our carrots. And obviously a shitload of cauliflower. Again, it, it has a spinach effect where it shrinks in summer, unlike other things. This is very important to do, you need to tap it for love. should have reduced and added in the rest of the remaining ingredients. Add in like a little bit of salt, a 
little bit of black pepper and obviously some chili powder. It's been around 6-7 minutes since this has been cooking and I would suggest you to constantly stir so it does not stick nor does it burn. Cook it until it becomes soft and you can't actually taste the cauliflower. As you can see cauliflower rice is ready and ready to cook, ready to eat, ready to serve. Um, if you're showing this recipe to your mom, namaste auntie. If you're showing this to your helper, uh, it's extremely easy so anyone can make it. And now let's just dive into it. Okay, so our lunch is ready. As you can see to the proportion to my face, I have a huge head and so is this bowl. I've topped it off with a little bit of barbecue sauce from Viva. This shit is literally like water. It has hardly any calories. Again, please don't waste your calories on sauces. Uh, speaking of wasting your calories, obviously one Diet Coke. I normally consider myself as someone who can eat a lot and who has a huge appetite, but honestly, I am I'm, I'm honestly starved at this point in time. Okay, so it's about 6 o'clock right now. Uh, it's almost half an hour before I leave for the gym. I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee. And then I have these uh, homemade uh, protein bounty bars. They're honestly delicious. Comment down below if you want to see me make a recipe of them as well. Yo, what's up? I don't know why am I sitting like that. Gym time, fun time is over. I'm just gonna hop in and take a quick shower. And after that, we will prepare some dinner. So I'll meet you in the kitchen. Also, if you want to see me take a shower, my OnlyFans is linked below. We are back in the kitchen, back here chefing it. Uh, now it's time for dinner. Uh, I usually love to eat salad for dinner. So that's exactly what we're going to make. But don't let this salad fool you. It's actually going to be really tasty. So let's get cooking. This can be less. I'm I'm not that rigid with my diet right now. So I guess this is my dinner and my final meal. As you can see, it's again huge. Not something that people really associate me with. But anyways, I'm just gonna finish this off, and I hope you like this full day of eating. The total calories would be somewhere around the screen. It just shows that you know you can have fun with your diet as well as eat healthy. As you can see, just so many vegetables that little amount of chips won't affect it at all. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I guess subscribe because I'm a YouTuber now. Feel free to leave down below what you want me to make next or what you want to see next. Cheers.